Did you know that there is a hacker attack every 44 seconds? It takes me longer than that to drink my morning coffee. So how can we use Power Query to detect that our data has been compromised? Well, let's go find out. Let's say you've created a query to check the variances from the previous month's payroll file to the current month. So September shows no discrepancies from your previous month being August. But when the October payroll file is loaded into your folder and you hit refresh, there's a variance in your salaries. The October file is 51,000 less than the September salary file. You've checked with HR and they've confirmed that no new hires or fires were made in the month. We need to investigate a bit deeper to find out what's going on. Let's create a query to show us exactly where the discrepancies are between our two months. In a blank workbook, click on Data, Get Data, From File, From Excel Workbook, and let's select our September payroll file. Here in the navigator window, we can see our export sheet that shows our September payroll data, which shows our employees' first and last names, their job title, department, and salary. There are some blank columns here that we will want to exclude, so let's click on Transform Data. Here in the Query Editor, Power Query performs some transformations for us to get the data into the proper table format, as the source data was not in a table format. Let's rename this query to September 2022. And if we scroll to the right here, we see all these null value columns. So let's select them, hold down the shift key and select the last column, right click and select remove columns. Then let's select all our data by pressing Ctrl A and in the home tab, go to remove rows and click on remove blank rows. So now we're only left with our September payroll information. Next, let's bring in our October payroll data. To do this, right click on the September query and click on duplicate. And in the source step of this duplicate query, let's click on the gear icon. And here we see the file path of our September payroll file. Let's click on browse and instead click on our October payroll file and click OK. And if we click on the drop down of our formula bar, we can see that our October payroll file is now our source. Let's rename this query to October 2022. Next, we're going to create our exception report. Let's click on the September query to select it. Then in the Home tab, click on the drop down next to Merge Queries and click on Merge Queries as New. Here in the Merge Queries dialog box, we have our September payroll as our primary table and let's select October as our secondary table. If this Merge Queries function is new to you, I highly recommend you watch this video here that will show you how to make the most out of this function. The link is in the description also. Next, in our September table, let's select our first name column, hold down the shift key and select department so that all these columns are now selected. And in the October table, let's do the same. We want to match everything from these four columns in both our September and October tables. And for our join kind, let's select the full outer join as we want to join all rows from both our tables where these four columns match. Why did we not choose the salary column? Because we know that the discrepancy lies in our salary column. So that column won't match, but we still want the rest of the columns to match even though the salaries may not be the same. Let's click OK and we get this October column with a list of tables and each table brings in the data from our October payroll. And if we click to the right of the table, we can see that everything in our first row matches for both months. And if we check our second row, everything appears to be the same except our salaries are not the same. Let's expand our tables and uncheck department only. So keep everything that you want to check and let's keep user original column name as prefix checked as this will help us to know which columns are for October and click OK. Now to check where our salaries disagree, let's click on the add column tab and click on conditional column. And let's name this new column exception 
Let's choose salary for our column name and keep operator as equals. And let's change our value to a column. And let's choose the October salary column and type null as our output, else we want exception to be returned. So the condition will show as null if our salaries in our September column agrees to the salaries in our October column, else it will return an exception if they disagree. Let's click OK, and we get this column that we can now use to filter on the exceptions only, and let's send this to Excel to have a closer look. We can see that Kate Gomez's salary was increased from 34,600 to 45,000. Valerie's salary was completely removed. Teresa's salary was increased and she was given an extra salary as a sales rep. Claude's salary was increased and poor Ronnie, the financial manager's salary was removed completely. And if we sum up these salaries and calculate the difference, it agrees to the difference of 51,000, which was what was calculated here in this query. Remember, this was the control that helped us kick off this investigation. And we can now see what an important control that was. In fact, if you would like to learn how to implement this control to calculate the difference in your previous month's total to the current month, please check out this video here, where I show you exactly how to do this.